The interactive media wall is a, a place, actually, where children can take control of the visual space around them. Where it came from was the idea of empowering emotionally and physically challenged children to take control of something in their life at a time when things were spinning out of control. I think we live in a world with so much technology that people are immune to it now. They tune it out, they have filters on. We were looking to create an environment and an experience where the technology disappeared. This was actually a research endeavor on our part to figure out how we could take technology and use it for observation, for learning about people, for predictive analysis. Think about the families that are coming to Boston Children's Hospital. A lot of them are, are addressing some very challenging, difficult issues. And we, by observing people, realized that we were building really happy and positive memories for these families. Being at the University of Connecticut, a research institution, we had access to people with broad understanding of children, of uh, technology, engineering, mathematics. We're a research one university. What better place to look for innovation and new ideas? There's a ton of technology behind this. There are racks of computers and processing going on. But at the end of the day, I think what makes it work for people is that it feels very human.